Welcome to Water Course. In this video, I'm gonna be playing all of the levels again on extreme difficulty in order to get all of the gold medals. The commentary for these videos will be very minimalistic because I've already talked about these levels in the past, so I will only talk about tips and tricks in order to get the gold medals in these levels. So just sit back and enjoy. There is absolutely nothing to this level. Just sit back and enjoy the background noises. tempting to simply tilt your screen all of the way in order to try and force your liquid from pushing the buttons early, but because those two buttons will eventually be cancelled after some time, it will be very hard to do all of the two buttons all at once, so just take your time. You'll be able to rush all that you want once you get into these tunnels, where there's pretty much no danger of any of your liquid going away. Alright, now this is the one part of the run which is crucial. Now, it's all about timing. Remember how come this ramp will lower completely in the fire? Well, you have to go through it a whole lot faster. And by taking the upper route, this allows you to take the shortcut, which will make you finish the level a whole lot faster. And you will even keep your entire liquid too. And by the way, doing this will earn you an achievement in the game. From now on, the rest of the run is pretty much self-explanatory. I'll let you enjoy this one in quietness. Ah, how come I leave a single puddle of water behind every single time that I play this level? This is tearing my heart apart. Now, this is a pretty tricky level to speed through because you will need to have all of your liquid grouped together in order to succeed here. And there's only a few sections in the level where you'll be allowed to do that. Other than that, you pretty much have to rush your way through all of these areas and finally you must allow it so that your other liquid will not get ahead, especially in places like this. Whenever you get to these sections, just send your liquid right away to the bottom platform because if your water gets stuck on the middle platform there, it will be very hard for your liquid to get through without having it being burnt up or lost. Just let this little droplet go. You won't need it. Or at least, if you really care for it, it will find its way back. <laughs> 
is no real trick to this one. At least, not this early on. Just fly through all of this place, as if your water had wings. Oops. Sometime, you do need to keep your feet on the ground. Make sure that you tilt the screen in order to keep it so that all of your water is gathered here. This is the last time that you'll be able to group all of your water together, as whenever you reach this area, your water will constantly be in a state of evaporation. Also, you do need to experiment a bit in order to tilt the screen just right enough so that your water just gains enough altitude in order to make it to the exit hatch as fast as possible before it melts. All right, it's time to do it again, the way that you practiced it earlier. With that said, it's harder to do here than in Roller Coaster because the room with the fire all around the place is much wider, so it's a lot harder to keep all of your liquid all together. The rest of the level, however, is pretty self-explanatory. Just do the same way that I did it on the normal video and you'll be all fine. For this level, going fast is a whole lot more important than keeping all of your liquid. Even if you don't bring a whole lot of liquid to the exit, you may still end up having a gold medal. But it helps to get all of your liquid at the exit at the same time, because the moment that your liquid is in the exit, the level ending will start taking effect after a few seconds. There is no real trick to activating the boiler itself, but you will need to be really swift in bringing your liquid to the middle of the boiler whenever he'll be active. You have to be really fast in order to get a gold medal, as in, you only have to charge the entire boiler twice before you'll be done. If you do it any more than twice, you're better off restarting the entire level. The best way to bring your liquid to the center of the boiler is to stop tilting the screen whenever the water touches the lever and as it's starting to edge toward the center, you tilt the screen leftward or rightward in order to bring it forward to the middle. This way you should bring in as much liquid as possible, as in, by charging the entire machine only once, I filled up the entire thing in pretty much one go. And here we'll pretty much be done. Even with that kind of run, I came pretty close to failing the gold medal. So that'll be it for Water Course. Stay tuned for the next part of our journey, the nursery.